Hey guys, it's Mawa and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so you're notified when my next video comes out. Okay, so on today's mukbang menu, I have tacos! I'm so excited because I wanted to do a taco mukbang for so freaking long and I love tacos, I love Mexican food. Well, okay, well I say I love every type of food but Mexican food is probably one of my top three favorite types of food. And can you guess where I got these tacos from? Surprise! I made them! Well, that's not really a surprise because, you know, I love cooking. But, uh, yeah, so I made these a handful of times already. Like, it wasn't my first time. Um, to me, it's an easy recipe. All I did was just take some pork. Um, you can use, I suggest using like pork shoulder. You know, I just added some garlic, onion, uh, some cumin, chili powder, uh, what else did I add? Garlic powder, some oil, broth, chicken broth, and some lime. And then I just browned the meat up with some oil and salt and then mixed everything together and put it in the oven and put it on 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I just cooked it for about an hour and a half. I normally cook it longer but then it all depends on how big the piece of your meat is. So my meat today was a little bit smaller so I just only cooked it for an hour and a half and then um, yeah so it's just it pulls apart. It's honestly a really good recipe because honestly I think homemade tacos are really good. I mean versus like Americanized tacos like uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love Taco Bell and like American taco, like the hard shells But there's just something about Mexican tacos that are just so much better I also have some jalapeno poppers in front of me, I have about four Made that on my own as well, so I just stuffed them some herb and garlic Cream cheese with some bacon and some cheese and rolled them in milk with some alpaca flour and breadcrumbs Fry those up and I also have some tomato and avocado with some lime of course and I, I'm so sad because I usually have like some sort of spicy salsa sauce with this, but I didn't have any on hand. So I'm gonna compromise and use some Frank's Red Hot sauce. I'm very excited to eat this. I haven't ate yet. I usually when yeah, when usually when I do my mukbangs, I only eat like maybe like once, like once that day. I have six tacos in front of me, four jalapeno poppers, avocado, tomato, and lime and some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Okay, so before, I'll start off with a taco first. Then I'll just add some hot sauce on there and a slice. Okay, just gonna use my hands and sprinkle some, oops, lime on there. This is gonna be bring me bring me back to like Mexico. All right, so that's what that looks like. Hmm. Yeah. The meat is so soft. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, yeah, you guys should definitely try making your own, making your own carnitas. Like, oh, it's so good. Mmm. And I just love the added texture the avocado brings when you like add it to food like i'm such a big avocado lover i've never i want to go to one of those restaurants where it's just dedicated to avocados because i love it that much okay i'm gonna try this popper look how crispy that looks it's gonna be a big mess here
Jalapeno poppers are so good and like they have the right amount of spice for me. Well, th these are, these are, this is actually my first time making jalapeno poppers. Like I've had them at restaurants, but this is pretty good. Get a couple more bites in here. Oops. And this big freaking Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> oh. Like, what are your guys' like favorite Mexican food? I recently tried sopes, and like, oh my god, that's so freaking good. Oops, forgot to add this. And like, I like tostadas and um, chilaquiles. Um, but I've never tried tamales yet. Like, oh, I really want to try it, and it looks really good. And I've never tried like Mexican soups, and I really want to try that because, hold on. Mm. Yeah, like in my in my city, there's only a few taco places that are that I call authentic. Actually, I can only name two. And they're all, well, there's one of them that I really like, but it's like so far from me, so like I can't really go there all the time. Yeah. And I know LA has like really good Mexican food. I want to go there so bad just to eat, obviously. Man, I used to hate cilantro with a passion. I think I was like in high school still. I hated it so much. And then, I don't know, I just grew to like it. Like now I love extra cilantro on my food, so. Mmm. Yeah, so speaking of Mexican food, I did go to uh, Mexico earlier this year around, I think, February? Yeah, February. I went in February. And that was like my first time going to Mexico, actually. So I was super excited because, you know, I love Mexican food. I've never been to an all-inclusive before. All the people that I usually know or they go there for all inclusives and stuff like that. I went with my boyfriend and you know that was our that was both of our first times. So I was a bit nervous because I was like, okay, I've never been, but I've heard all these stories of people going to all inclusives and you know saying that they had a good time. But my boyfriend is like not a big on like beaches, like I don't know. If why? Like, he'd rather go to Disney World than beaches. I don't know. Yeah, so we went um, and we stayed at the Grand Riviera Princess um, Resorts, which I thought was beautiful. Like it was so nice. Um, it was a pretty big resort. 
with different other ones on the same property or something like that. Made sure I used some basic Spanish because, you know, I just want to be polite and everything like that. So we get there and I know we were already warned about like, you know, tips and stuff like that. You had to bring tips in American, um, which was, um, you know, not really beneficial for us Canadians because the dollar, right, or the dollar at the time and still currently is pretty shitty. So, um, you basically like, we basically lost like almost like half our money, which sucks. And at first we didn't really, we didn't really know about the tipping system there. We just knew we had to tip, but we're like, we, they, the guy who picked us up at the airport, um, dropped us off at our suite and then Like literally, we were taking off our bags and he's like, tip. And I was like, what? Like, hold on, man. You know, we got settled in, but we got in pretty early and we were so tired, I remember. Cause, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So when me and my boyfriend flew out to Mexico, we went to Edmonton first. So we spent the day there pretty much. You know, ate out to a couple places and even watched a movie because we were there literally all day. And then, oh my God, I had to like, one of the worst experience with WestJet, I was so mad. Okay, when we first were flying from um, Winnipeg, they're like, oh no, we have no more seats. Um, only one of you, one of you will get upgraded and one of you will stay. So I got upgraded to like a plus seat. He sat in like the economy. Yeah, we're like, okay, so we got separated. And then when we were flying from Edmonton to Mexico, which was like late at night, so I'm already, we're already super tired from all like shopping or whatever all day at the mall. And you know, we had an early flight that morning. I'm gonna eat the poppers last because it's a little bit, it's a little spicy and I'd rather eat that last. But yeah, so on our, we were like, you know, super tired waiting and whatever. And then we even checked in super early this time. It's like, okay, we're together. Okay. We were going on board basically to Mexico and then they're like, Oh, can we, we're calling Mount Mendoza, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. So I go there and I was like, and out of, it was just literally, it was just me. Like seriously, I had the worst luck. It was just me who got called or had an issue. And the lady there was like, oh, um, uh, we have a family that we double booked with your seat. Um, we're gonna need you to move sit somewhere else because this family of four, oh, we prefer that families sit together, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, are you kidding me? I look, I look and I'm like, I understand if the family had like a baby or an infant, cause that's obviously understandable. They're a baby, but the youngest kid was like 15 or 14 or I don't even know, like 13, 14 or something like that. And I was like, what the hell? I'm like, this guy can, I was like, this guy's not even a baby. And like, what do you mean? Like they, one of them can sit on their own. Like why, why do I have to give up my seat? So mad. And I was like giving the girl attitude. Uh, uh, Cause I kept saying, okay, you guys keep like separating us. Like what's going on? Like we checked in early. This is what the girl promised me. Hold on. We're so sorry um, this happened to you. We'll give you guys extra like refreshments and blah, 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 or whatever. I'm like, okay, yeah, right. So we, you know, we got separated and then, oh my God. Uh, so we were like, I was like, okay, freaking fine. Like I was starting to get over it. The pilot's like, okay, we're delayed. Okay, I was like, oh my God. So we were delayed for another like hour or two. We were just sitting in our seats. And like, oh my God, I, like seriously, I, when it comes to airplanes, I have the worst bladder. Like, I don't know why, but like, I already have a really bad bladder. Like, 
like in general um but i remember like even getting on before the plane like i went to the washroom like freaking so many times and um it was like a five hour flight from edmonton to mexico and then you know i was like okay i can probably make it without going to the washroom five hours i can try to go to sleep didn't happen i barely slept like i had to pee and then the people beside me were like a couple and then they were sleeping so i didn't want to wake them up and then i just like waited till they got up and i was like oh my god thank you like i have to go so bad oh my god i'm almost done and i'm not even <laughs> well anyways okay yeah i'll quit i'll keep i'll keep going um yeah, so I was just so upset. So I was like, hey, whatever. We finally get there. And I was like, yay. Oh my God, it's finally over this nightmare. <laughs> like, frick, we got there in the morning. Super hot there. Like when we went in February, like, oh my God, it was amazing. Like it wasn't, it, I was actually expecting Mexico to be super humid. I guess when I went. But it wasn't. And I like that because I've been to Asia before and oh my god, right when you step off the plane inside the airport, it's humid. Yeah, so that was nice. And then we were warned like um, with those people who sell timeshares and I was like, okay, don't even look at them. Just keep going, which worked. Mm. Ooh, my last taco bite. Add some. Mmm. I finished that like so fast. Booked our a la carte. And there's, if there's one thing I gotta say, like the a la carte, I don't know if it was just my resort. But the a la carte suck. <laughs> like, I'd rather have the buffet than the a la carte. Like, the buffet was so good compared to the a la carte. Like, after a while, you do kind of get sick of the buffet, but I did enjoy breakfast. Yeah, so we got to do, you know, like the first day we, we just chilled out. The second day, oh my god, the second day, I... That's when we booked our like all our all our, uh, excursions, so we were due for the third day. So the second day, we just sat on the beach, you know, just like roamed around the resort, and that was like probably the worst freaking day of my life because me and my boyfriend, like you know, we were like, yeah, you know, let's get turned up, like let's um let's drink, and then I was like, okay, let we were drinking literally like all morning and like basically all afternoon drinking tequila shots and just going on the beach and eating and just drinking and eating at the same time and like, you know, walking around and stuff like that. And I remember we were watching a show in the pool or something like that. And I took a couple like tequila shots and then it ended, the show ended. And then I guess um, we went back to the room and I blacked out. And then the next thing I know, I woke up and I was crying and yakking. I was like, oh my God. And this is like typical behavior of me because like I yak all the freaking time. Like if you ask my friends, I'm known as like the blackout person because I don't know, I just black out all the time or I just don't have enough food in me when I eat like drink. I like, I always make that mistake and I never learn. And then, and I remember I woke up at like, so we missed our a la carte <laughs> dinner. And then I remember we woke up at like night and like we had to go, we had to go to our excursion for 7 a.m. And I yak from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Like I couldn't stop. I didn't eat. I was crying. I kept going back. Like I chugged like, five liters of water but i just kept yakking it all. i was just like oh my god how am i even gonna make it to this freaking like excursion but i made it i got through it and i was like oh my god i didn't even want to drink after that i feel like that always happens 
every time my friends come back from an excursion, like all inclusive, they're like, oh yeah, there's one day that I actually like was so messed up and you know, it's so I guess it's typical, but that was probably like one of the worst oh, hangovers of my life. But t luckily, like my head wasn't like throbbing the next day. We went to this excursion. Uh, it was called Jungle Maya excursion. So what we did was we swam in the sonotes. We did like five uh, zip lines. Um, I don't know. We did some like Mayan ritual things. Oh yeah, we did some rappelling. And like I, I don't know how to swim, right? So like when we were rappelling, I was so scared to even like. Even though I had a life jacket on, I didn't even want to like let go. I was just so scared. Um, and then, yeah, we did on we did zip lines, and I thought those were like cool. Like I love zip lines, but like we were climbing, like pretty freaking high. Our uh, tour guide was so nice. His name was like Cesar, and he's so freaking nice. Like he was the nicest person I've, I've literally me and my boyfriend ever met. We ended off our um, thing with in Tulum, yeah, and then we got to go on the beach, which was beautiful. And I remember I was like about to faint, like I kept stopping because my face was so freaking red. I was so hot. I was like about to cry, like oh my god, like I just couldn't handle it anymore because I was like all of the heat, the heat, and then like I had alcohol in me still, like I'm like sweating it out. I was like, oh my god, like that's like the worst mistake of my life. But I still had so much fun. That was like one of the best experiences. I really, really liked it. And then the next day we went to I believe we went to um where did we go? Uh oh yeah, we did some speed boating and I think that's it. Oh yeah, we did speed boating and quadding. Quadding was cool, like we only got one, and then we went speed boating. And holy crap, like, I can't even like explain speed boating. Like we've been speed boating before, but not like this. Like it was like open ocean and like we were going so fast. Like we had to follow someone and like the waves was just, we were just, we just kept crashing into the waves. And like, we literally thought we were gonna die. My boyfriend had his hat on and his hat almost flew off. And it was like soaked. And then like our face was just like, get, like salt water was just getting in our eyes. It was a fun experience, but it was one of the scariest moments of our lives. Like we thought we were gonna flip over and die. Like we were going really fast. <laughs> I wish we were able to record that moment, but obviously like it was dangerous. I mean, the worst that could happen was us flipping over, but like, oh my God, like we were flip, like we were, the waves were coming and we were like literally crashing into the waves, backlashing us. Oh my God. I'm just glad I wasn't driving. Oh my God. But yeah, those are like the only two excursions that we went to, but we did a lot. But yeah, I, my first experience in Mexico, I thought it was good. Mm. Okay, gross. Look how oily that is. <laughs> mm. Last one. I'll do a little close up for this one. Mm. Oh, yeah. You taste better when the jalapeno is bigger. Yeah, I definitely do want to go back to Mexico, but then next time, 
I want to go on a food tour. And I know, like, I've seen, like, Mark Weens. Do you guys watch Mark Weens? He's, like, my favorite. Um, he, like, I know he went on, like, food street food tours. And, like, I definitely want to do that next time because, you know, I love food. I don't want to just do, like, activities like that. Well, I do, but then I want to do food tours as well. And I want to go to a different part of, like, Mexico because so, I was in Playa del Carmen. Um, so, yeah, I kind of want to go towards more towards like the Pacific side, I guess, of Mexico. I mean, I also thought it was cool that you can just buy beer at like 7-Eleven. This is my last few bites. Mmm. That's my... Big bite. You get it. You get tricked with the idea of like all inclusive drinks, but when you actually get there, you don't drink a lot as much as you think. Cause I don't know, all the drinks there are like just um, super sugary. If you ask for like a mixed drink, I don't know. But a shot basically means like this, and then this much like like Coke or like Sprite or something like that. I didn't abuse the all inclusive drinks as much as I thought I would. Um, Cause I mean, on the second day, I was like freaking dead. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that mukbang. I enjoyed making it and eating it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Mao and M. I do post a lot of food pictures on there. Thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.